What's up everybody? Kevin here and I'm here to do a combo breaking down the Thursday night game between the Arizona Cardinals at the Denver Broncos for the purposes of the showdown. But at the same time we're going to do a little bit of a demo, a little tutorial on how to use the DFS Army Domination Station for DraftKings showdown mode. So let's get Start it. Love the showdowns. They're fun to attack with mass multi entry in particular. They're a great big contest. Look at this. One and a quarter, $1.25 million contest on DraftKings that you can attack. It's very winnable. Using the domination station, it's even better. So um, let's get started. We choose the showdown. We choose our slate. Denver versus Arizona. Here's our game. Arizona, Denver, 42 point total. Not so good. Not so good. And the way we get started with the showdown is we have our, our player list here, right? And we can go through all the players and remove some that we don't like. I already pulled a couple of them out, like uh, these two backup quarterbacks, although wouldn't shock me. <laughs> these quarter these starting quarterbacks, I don't know about Rosen, but Keenum's pretty bad. You know, he could be benched at any time. So who knows? Maybe we'll see machine gun uh, Chad Kelly. At some point. I pulled out some of these wide receivers. I don't like the crappy ones. Chase, Ad Chase Edmonds gets some touches. For 600, I'm going to leave him in. It's a couple touches. Backing up David Johnson. Let's take a look here. Part of what I like to do when I'm trying to figure this stuff out is I look at their game logs. I want to see, all right, is this a guy who's getting touches? Like, no, right? Nothing. He goes out. Don't want him. Who's getting touches? Edmonds. Let's take a look. Not much. Not much. Looks like he got an accidental couple of carries, couple of targets early in the season, but not much since. So, not going to get too excited about Chase Edmonds either. Who else? Who are the turds? No offense. Now, Chad Williams, he is playable. Let me make sure he's in there. This is a guy who gets targets, so he never catches them, but he certainly gets targeted plenty. What a crap player, too. Um, but he's certainly playable. Got some tight ends. He's getting targets. Hearman. Okay, there we go. How much? 2,800? Okay. Again, probably not going to get a whole lot of scoring, but we need some cheap guys in there. Um, Booker gets work. In the passing game for the Broncos on occasion. Here we go. We got our kickers. Kickers. Oh, kind of, Phil Dawson has not looked good this year at all. Arizona just does not put him in a in a situation where he's kicking much. McManus a little better. Has some scoring games. What I look for with kickers is weird. I just look for guys that don't miss a lot of field goals. You don't want guys who miss field goals. But, I mean, it's an ugly one. Both defenses in play, and everybody here and up outside of um, these backup quarterbacks are going to be in play. So, here we go. Back to the domination station, right? Now, how do we set up our lineups on DraftKings? The entire goal is to catch the correct captain and the right mix. And the way the domination station is designed, you as the user fully control which player is going to be the captain. Do not, I repeat, do not think that you would just allow the optimizer to figure it out. That's not how this works. You as the user need to figure out how much exposure by percentage you want of each player in the captain spot. That's how you win these. It's not by leaving David Johnson, the most expensive guy in there. All right, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'm game. Right? Show how it's done. What if you didn't do anything? You say, well, I don't want to, I don't want to mess with it. Let the, let the tool do what it wants. Okay. Hit optimize 20 lineups. Let's see what happens. You got automatically David Johnson, 60%, then, you know, the rest of these guys, right? This is who it chose for the captain, and here are your flexes. 
it's totally different from how I would do it. So, yeah, David Johnson, good choice, good choice. We got 20, 20 percent, right? Could Emmanuel Sanders be the highest scoring player? Absolutely, 20 percent. Could the quarterback for either team be the highest scoring? Sure. Why not? 10 percent. Now, if these were good quarterbacks, they'd be much higher on my list. Uh, Philip Lindsay definitely has potential. 20%. Where are we at? 20, 40, 60, 80. Well, let's give Christian Kirk a little 10. How about uh, Hoyce Freeman? 5%. And, I don't know, a defense. Cortland Sutton. A kicker. Not the easiest one because there's a lot of crappy players here. All right, now. All right, let's put uh, defense, and I got Hoyce Freeman in there. And just for shits and giggles, we'll put Cortland Sutton. He's not that cheap. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go, let's go Broncos defense, right? Broncos at home, good defensive team. People sleep on them. People forget. They're good. They're playing a rookie quarterback who's not good. So great chance for either one of these defenses, but especially the home defense Broncos, to do well. Now, let's just jump over to the flex. Now, here first, I want to run run the tool and see what happens. Sometimes you put too expensive of a player in the captain spot and it doesn't work. Now, in this case, we're fine. So we just ran 20 lineups. I set up for 20 because that's the standard, you know, DraftKings game type. But we're not done yet. Let's see who it's giving me a ton of. It's giving me Keenum, Broncos defense. It's giving me players in the flex that while I like some of them, maybe I want to adjust my exposures a little bit. So for example, I know I really like Lindsay. So I'm going to raise him up to 12.2. Um, I don't like Case Keenum as much as this tool seems to like him as a flex play. Although, I mean, for 10k, I get why he's there. Who's going to outscore him? For that price, it's so easy to fit him in, but he doesn't have to do much. But still, I want to get some Rosen in there, you know, make sure I've got a nice little mix. So there's Rosen, there's Keenum, 80%. Maybe I can go to 14.75. I raised up my Lindsay exposure, my Ice Freeman. And another guy I really like is, I like Manny Sanders, and I like Christian Kirk. So... I'm going to go, I'm going to raise up Christian Kirk to 10 and then see what happens. This is how it works. That's how you do it. You get this kicker a little bit higher, although, ugh, Will Dawson has been hashtag not very good. Um, I like the other kicker, McManus, a little more, and there he is. Manny Sanders. It's just Manny being Manny. He's doing his thing. So he's he's in a good spot to take advantage. Now, here's what we know about these defense. I, I should really cover this game a little bit better. Trying to do a tutorial and a game breakdown. Neither one of these teams allows a lot of passing yards. At least that's been the case. Here's the uh, DFS Army single game research station. And if you take a look here, you see Keenum and Rosen projected for fairly low scores as far as quarterbacks go. And you see the opposing defense, seventh, eighth overall, fewest points. So Neither one of these teams has given up a whole lot of points to quarterbacks. 17.8 on average. Both of these quarterbacks average less than that, so it's really interesting. They're bad quarterbacks taking on good defensive teams. Let's see the running back matchup, and you'll see this is a much better matchup. Twenty-seventh, thirty-first. Two of the bottom-ranked rush defenses in the league. Now, you'll see 27th in red. It's not because that's a good running game. It's just they're not quite as bad as the Broncos or, or the, the the Cardinals are terrible. Remember, this is the same Cardinals team that Lats Murray just went bananas against. Lats Murray. So I really like the Denver running backs and our ranking system, true stick for the running backs Shows that. You know, you've got David Johnson, Lindsay, and Hoyce Freeman all showing fairly well. Right? All three of these are very much playable. Right? Our wide receiver matchups, our tight end match, we got all the we got all the various matchups here, but basically 
The most important one to note is the defense versus quarterback wide receiver, which both of these are very, very good. Defense versus running back, both are very bad. So we want a lot of running back exposure on this slate. You know, in the end, these can be raised up to 25 each. So I really feel that there's a great chance the running backs are going to be the highest scores. Now, some other things that are interesting and other approaches to use. Now, maybe I don't want a running back of, with the opposing defense. So I just think that's not the best idea. I think, you know, if there's ever a non, you know, a negative correlation, it's running back with opposing defense. So I'm going to do stack David Johnson with exactly zero of Broncos. I'm not sure I can even ru run with this rule because you, you almost need these running backs, even if the defenses do well. But let's see. And we'll do, you know, Lindsay with zero of Cardinals defense. This isn't an unnecessary thing. Uh, this is a little if you feel like you want to do that. This is more to show you that you can do it. So I can set up the optimizer so it won't pair up certain situations. So David Johnson should not have Broncos defense in it. And you see what it did. It picked up Chad Williams instead in this lineup because it wants to use the defense. Um, we can do similar things with the quarterback position. Although, again, I don't know that I don't normally always have a problem running a quarterback and the opposing defense because turnovers, he could still throw, he could still score. But you have the ability to do this. So running 20 lineups again. Let's see what the flex looks like. We've got Lindsey, David Johnson. You know, you see the exposures. So you can adjust these however you want. Um, the way I like to adjust exposure, let's say I don't love Demarius Thomas. He's going up against maybe Patrick Peterson on the outside. I'll just lower that projection, 12.1. Run it again. Where'd he go to? Gone completely. No, no, here he is. 12.1. Now he's at 35%. You can go 12, 0, 1. Maybe that's still too much, right? So you, the user has control. Now I like Broncos defense a lot. So I'm going to go 10.7 because I think that Rosen is a rookie and he can do turnovers. And he can get lots of turnovers. So I'm going to raise it up. But the problem is I have this rule in place that if you've got David Johnson in there, you can't use Broncos defense. So I'm going to remove that rule because I actually don't want to use it. And I think David Johnson, uh, I don't love David Johnson here. He's not playing well at all. I like Lindsay probably the most out of anyone, even though Johnson should get more carries and, and he's projected so much higher. No, and I, I think Johnson should score more points. He's going to get a ton more carries, but got to pay up a ton to put him in the captain spot. So this is it. This is how it works. You're setting it up. Christian Kirk, I'm not getting enough of him. I raise up that projection. Cardinals defense, not getting enough of that. I raise up that projection. Let's do this again. Let's take this rule out because, again, those rules are really causing me not to have as much of these defenses as I want. That's too much Broncos. Again, I'm going to lower it. All of these things, you as the user can adjust how you want. Remember, now I'm working the flex. If I change over here, I'm using, I'm working the captain side. Notice that the projections change. Here it's 27.26 for David Johnson. Here it's 18. Totally different. Christian Kirk has been basically the only player that has any sort of repertoire with Josh Rosen so far this season. So that's the guy. If I'm going to use Rosen in a lineup, I want to pair him up maybe with a Christian Kirk. So that's a rule I might make. Stack Rosen with no less than one of, and let's get his pass catchers in there, Kirk. Now, I might add a second one in there, Chad. I might add a third one in there, Larry. Technically, this game sets up really well for Larry Fitzgerald operating out of the slot, but he's just a forgotten man in that offense, so you can't really do it. But you see, as you do that, it changes certain percentages. 
Now I'm going to get maybe less Josh Rosen. Because in order to use him, he's going to have to be paired up with some other players that maybe aren't in the lineup. So there you have it. That's a basic tutorial for how to use the Domination Station to set up lineups for the DraftKings Showdown. Once you're done modifying, and again, modify, you can also use max exposure settings to modify these guys. So I have David Johnson set at 75% in the flex. Um, I can put it in tournament mode, which will really force him not to pass 75% flex exposure, as you see. Let's see, Broncos. That's too much Broncos. I don't want that much Broncos. Let's go 45%. Let's see how that looks. You can control the flex position. Case Keenum 75%. I don't know that he's going to be. So maybe I'll go 70% in the flex, uh, which will still give me a ton of exposure to him, but just less. Right? So there he is, 70%. Lindsay, Chad Williams, that's a little bit high for me for a guy who can't catch a fucking pass. Um, so maybe 20%. Let's see if this can even work with such a restriction. Sometimes you, you reduce the player load so much that you can't actually. All right, so just real quick, if you look at all, that's captain plus flex exposure. Got your captain exposure, got your flex exposure. When I'm done, select all, download the lineups, boom, save it, upload it directly to DraftKings. That's it. You can adjust it however you want. 20 lineups, click of a button. The more you work it, the better your chances are going to be. I don't believe in just letting things happen. You make it happen. Want a little more Christian Kirk? You make it happen. You want a little more Manny Sanders? You make it happen. You want a more Lindsay? Make it happen. That's it. That's all you do. Then you hit the button. If you want a more diverse player pool, add the number of uniques. Let's go to three. Let's see what happens. Can it do it? Can it do it? Yep. Changes the player pool around. Mixes them up better. Let's go to two. Three is a lot. Two is a pretty good setting. Three is fine. There's Ricky Seals Jones. So this is a nice little distribution for today. So that's it for this breakdown. Get an idea of some of the player pools. I'm not done. It's it's um my, my stuff will change. Don't copy this. But um you know here's the highest projected one that I came up with. So let's see David Johnson, Case Keenum, Philip Lindsay, Kirk McManus, Broncos defense. You know whatever that's worth. It's the highest projected after I made some changes to modifications to the to the um, projections the actual highest is not that so there we go DraftKings showdown NFL we have this for NBA as well it works exactly the same way thanks guys good luck